I've got an itch I can't scratch. I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me. An open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round. Welcome to the freak show. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about the Trumna. I'm so sorry I didn't put anything up on Wednesday. I've been addicted to Elden Ring. <laughs> um, I'm a big Souls player. Like I played all the Dark Souls and Bloodborne, so I put tons of hours into all of those. I just I like those type of games. I like challenging games with cool cosmetics and a bunch of weapons to try out. And there's PvP and helping people out, so I love it. And then Elden Ring like took a lot of the older ones and just kind of made it better, except the final boss. So that's my opinion. Okay, so the Trumna. So you want an assault rifle, but you want a big magazine capacity. You want a bunch of extra ammo. You want good damage, but you also want to explode the planet. The Trumna. How do you get the Trumna? So to get the Trumna, you need to, first off, have Deimos unlocked. You can do the little side quest or whatever, and then once you have Deimos little side quest done, then you can actually go into the Necrolisk, and then you need to level up to at least rank 3 before you can even get this. Father will have the blueprint, but you can get the blueprint when you're, once you're level 3, but you also need a searing glass shard, which you get that from grandma. And to get that, you gotta trade other tokens that you trade stuff for from everybody else to get the grandma token. Well, you need 20 grandma tokens to get a searing glass shard for the blueprint. So, and on top of that, you need to be mastery rank 10 to even use this. So, I got that out of the way. Build time. So, here we got the build. So we got Amalgam Serration. We got Malignant Force. We got Rhyme Rounds. We got Point Strike. Can, you can use Critical Delay, but if you do Critical Delay, the fire rate's gonna be ass. So make sure you have something that's gonna kick up the, uh, the fire rate. So I put Vile Acceleration. I do have a Riven. If you don't have a Riven, Put vigilant armaments. I mean, just tweak it to get that little power up a little bit. But this is mine right now, so more reload speed, damage, and crit damage. The reload thing on this thing is awful. <laughs> um, this has one of the longest reloads in the game, so any little bit helps. So I got some reload speed from my full ranked primary merciless, and then. I got some here, so I'm actually fine with that. Because I already got the crit chance. It's a little crit damage right there, so. Hunter's Munition. This gun procs it like candy, bro. And I will show you. Galvanized Chamber. One of the best in the business. Stabilizer. Alright. Also, before we get further into the video... Um, I do want to thank my friend Trucker Gamer. He is a YouTuber. I will have his channel in the description. He usually plays like Phasmophobia, like survival type games. So if that catches your interest, definitely give his channel a look. Um, he's a really good friend of mine. He's been probably one of my best support guys out there. Um, I had a channel that had 5k subs. It crashed and burned. And then he still stuck with me when I made a new channel, so that is a true friend. So he's not a sub anymore. He's just he's he's a really good friend. So check out his channel. See if you like his stuff. He's I think he's a better commentator than me. That man can talk for hours. Me sometimes I'll get in the zone and I'll forget to talk. So just check him out. But anyways, let's test out the beast. I love this gun. I knew there was something special about it. And, um, I don't use it all the time. Because there's so many weapons that I like and use. So, 
I'm not like one of those people that are like, oh, I'm just going to use straight meta weapons. I don't do that. If I do like a build for something and it works out, I will use that. And then it becomes part of my repertoire. So I'll, I'll start like, uh, I'll use like a bow here or I'll use this. I'll just keep switching over and over. So because like, it, where I'm at now, like I'm the only thing I have left to do is just level up more stuff. And you know, I've done, I've done it. You know, I've, I've done it. I've done the steel path. I've done all that. Well, anyways, no one cares about that. Okay. So, I know these guys aren't tough. But I'm going to show you the ability of this thing. See that little bar at the bottom? That's, that's the yeet button. Watch this shit. I put invincibility on. I was actually just trying to make them pause. So I clicked the wrong thing. But look. Now, that... So, to activate that, you need to get enough kills to fill up the life essence meter. And then, you just go ham. And the numbers that it can produce sometimes are crazy. Sometimes you'll see, like, a million. Um, I actually hit a 17 million crit with it one time. I was like, Whoo! <laughs> It's dumb. So, it's, it's kind of random in a way. Like the like the damage output, but it's it clears out rooms. Um, it's honestly the Trumna is if you can manage to reload. It's probably a near perfect weapon in this game. And and that's on water. Like <laughs> I swear to God. So if you look right, look at that. That hunter's munition kicks in. Look at he's already gonna die from slash. These are 180 corrupted. And this gun is having no trouble. You can see the slash procs just gaining. This thing procs some um, hunter's munition like candy, bro. And then look at life essence is full. Launch the nuke. Look at that shit. Look at that. I still got ammo to spare, man. That's a cool reload, too. I'm a reload guy. I love reloads. So, that's why, like, I play Hunt Showdown a lot. Because the reloads are kind of fucking great. <laughs> I hate games that do, like, half-ass reloads where they don't even try. But, that's essentially the Trumna. It is a hundred percent worth the effort so if you really want to get this get to mastery rank 10 level up Deimos to rank 3 get some favor get the blueprint work on the other people get their coins trade the coins for 20 gram of coins trade that for a certain glass shard then get the other materials for the blueprint and create this beast it is an expensive weapon I forgot to mention that. For this reason, nine fucking forma. So when you get this, there's no polarities. There's nothing there. You got nothing. So l literally, look. I ha all of those boxes with polarities was me. <laughs> It's expensive. Yeah, I literally had to put on every slot. Now, for the Exilus one, I highly recommend Stabilizer. Without Stabilizer, this thing just just goes all over the place. Stabilizer is pretty great. So, but anyways, that's the build right there. It works fantastic. Um, 
I don't remember how much I paid for my ribbon. It was a shit ribbon. I rolled it to this. And I like this because I told you the reload is horrendous. But definitely get yourself a Trumna. It's quite honestly one of the best guns in the game, in my opinion. Just because of the ammo capacity from the magazine, the extra reserve ammo, the exploding barrage you saw. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that exploding barrage will clear rooms out. It's it's amazing. So, thank you guys for watching. And, again, I highly, humbly apologize for not putting this on Wednesday. So, hopefully you guys can forgive me. But, have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.